We're actually working. Someone's got it around here. <laughs> I'm late again. Yeah. He's already got it assembled. Yeah, two new slip clutches. Unbelievable. Don't need a different combine operator this fall. <laughs> keep ruining them. I wonder if those things were supposed to be tightened one wacka wacka with the impact gun or two? What what torque specs do you think they are? One and a half wacka wackas. Yeah, I did two just to be careful. So this brings us to dissecting why the slip clutch failed. It's pretty rounded. And when you go to the housing that this whole thing inserts inside of, put it in the groove that that's supposed to sit in, it's pretty sloppy. So, how a slip clutch works apparently is when the auger has too much load, the springs can press here and pop out and spin. Makes a horrible, horrible sound. Hard to believe this is $800. It's a joke. This is what it is. So I'm going to take this one apart just because of curiosity. Salvaging parts for later projects. So this one doesn't look quite as bad, but uh, definitely glad I'm replacing it. He's still pretty rounded off in there. What are you looking at here? Slip clutch components. We got a mess now. Driving the left side. Gotta go that way. I think that would reverse it. We could maybe save three thousand dollars. Three thousand, they're eight hundred apiece. Sixteen. I thought they were twelve hundred. He's doing math and components. Hey, that would work. I can smell it. Wouldn't it? <laughs> what? Reverse the clutches, go from one side to the other, then they drive opposite. No. I would think they both have to drive. What are you holding that for? We got to see the mines at work here. Well, if you're driving, return those eight hundred dollar parts, and let's try it. You can put this back together because they really fling out of there. <laughs> the springs are pretty hard. I bet you they wear from the opposite side. Too late now. Struggle bus is real today. So somebody might ask why I just carried a huge box on top of the combine, but we're going to put a hopper extension on today. Going to make this little tank bigger by a hundred bushel actually. So we got to read the instructions, but I thought I'd carry it all up here, see how it goes. Here's the instructions. Boy, they are detailed. Two pages. Oh, I'm still cab corn in it. So since you have the engineering degree, I'm going to give you this and you just stand and point. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty detailed for three pages, four pages, front and back. I think this is a Monday job. This was expensive what? for just fabric. Looks like that goes in back, the other one goes in the front. And, and then we got to put some bracketing on. So what I like about this instructions half of it is just how many tools you need. And I'm going to be very upset if we need a tool that ain't on this list. Side this one. Measure once, drop twice. I lost the instructions. They're under the auger. I hope that don't void warranty. There's a rig and what wrong when you put a washer on, you know that? Is that backwards? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I 
The Hoover Dam is in Vegas. I'm 90% sure of it. You think it's like inside city limits <laughs> in Vegas? No, it's in Arizona somewhere. You, you know it's, it's winter in Minnesota, right? Yeah, I do. You guys heat your shop to 80 degrees. <laughs> you work out? Yeah, getting out of bed in the morning. <laughs> You know, I was concerned that you're maybe one of them people that smell. Impact. But you smell so good. What are you wearing for deodorant? Body sweat. <laughs> is laying down seating. I'm really not impressed with this dad. I think this is the first one I've done correctly. What's so terrifying about doing this is look where I'm sitting. Yeah. Are you almost done up here? Just about. <laughs> we had a severe malfunction. Looks like it's working now. Come on. Okay. Let's get her done. Is it working? Oh yeah. Start the engine and stop it. I do all the work. Mounted this whole grain tank extension. So I'm inside the grain tank that's halfway opened. Here is the problem. The uh, new extension here from here to there when folding. It's hooking on this arm when it's closing. Plan B. You think he knows what he's doing? Okay, that was cool, but scary. Don't try that at home. Don't ever do that. Ever. So I think what we're gonna try to do is take this, put it into that hole to try to Hold this back some and maybe get a wrench and bend that. That was kind of cool in there. So this is how, when you realize that you've screwed up and it's, it's all Eric's fault. It's a Friday. Actually, it was probably my fault. See how this arm is uh, sitting <laughs> up and down per se. This arm is laying flat per se. You think that's the problem? <laughs> Dang right, it's the problem. Sorry for ripping on whoever made this product. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to switch that out now. So you know what? You know what, Eric? What? We had to add this extensions because of all the cheap but high quality fungicide we bought from Egg Cam Solutions and that is why we had to add extensions because we won't be able to make it a half a mile with all the great yields. This holds 500 bushels now. Anyways, we got her all uh, buttoned up here. Stuff I was a bit worried about was around here but I just ran some extra screws in. You need to come up here and raise these sensors now. So we might actually add a camera in here so that we can see when this really gets full. Yeah, so we're adding this to, so we can make it a half a mile without filling up. And we're probably not gonna fill it all the time just because of wear and tear on the equipment. But every time I get full, it'll be running over. So, but we're gonna try not to fill it all the time. Well, what are you up to? Uh, we just got done installing this kit in the uh, combine. Uh, yeah, it doesn't work so good, especially when you put the bracket together wrong and there was some plastic that got broke and 
then we had to reinforce it. We got it all on a YouTube video though, so it'll be viral. <laughs> viral to show how stupid we are. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us. <laughs> and thumbs up, yeah. Thumbs up. Is the grain tank alarm levels? By moving them up, you're sure that ain't gonna affect the active yield? Uh, it is, because your grain tank is now heavier, or will carry more. I believe you have to recalibrate the active yield. Do you advise doing that or leaving everything the same and putting a camera in the grain tank? Either way, in theory, it would mess up the active yield because you're already putting more in than what it was had originally. So if you move the level sensors up, that should work just as good. Then you can just fill it full all the time. Alright, so you would move the sensors up and maybe make a bracket for that top one because it's up so high? Move the three quarter to where the full one is now, maybe? Yeah, I would do that. Okay. That should all work out. You'll be fine. Just send it. I'll send it. You know I will. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video of us putting this 100 bushel extension on to the combine, the S790. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for viewing us. If you guys please would give us a thumbs up and a subscribe if you're feeling generous. Here is the brand and information. You want to get yourself one put it together right looks like it lays down pretty nice thank you guys once again for watching continue to come back and view all the activities we do around here i appreciate it have a good day and don't forget to return